Burned buildings and deserted houses. Residents have fled for their lives following clashes between two major tribes, the Adara and the Fulanese, that have claimed many lives in the community and displaced many from their homes. Over the last one year, Kajiru local government area of Kaduna State has been in the spotlight for the wrong reasons. Between February and March 2019, no fewer than 10 communities have been affected by the attacks and reprisals between the two tribes. Presently, residents of Karamai, one of the affected communities, have fled from their homes to neighboring villages in Kachia local government area. Those who do not have anywhere to go are now taking refuge at the primary school. It's the same situation at Iri and Wabade communities since the renewed attacks in those places. Really everything is down for us. Even food to eat, we can't get the food to eat. It is in this primary school that we normally come and sleep every day. Emergency agencies have been battling with the challenges of stabilizing those that were injured in the attacks, even as the victims narrate the ordeals. I saw men dressed like army people surrounding our village, and there was nowhere we could run to. In my own case, as I tried to escape, I was hit by a bullet. His Excellency directed us to visit all the hospitals and see the patients and give him some relief materials and also see them and have know their condition and make a, a summary report to His Excellency. This peace and reconciliation meeting with all relevant stakeholders is to identify the root causes of the conflicts and profile solutions. So people are trying to capitalize on this and also cause havoc for one or two interests. But uh, the good thing and most important thing is that we, the leaders, have agreed we will stay together and then we also call for a truce, a kind of, um, let's call it a ceasefire, so that we'll find a solution to the problem. Most worrisome is the fact that despite the presence of troops in the areas, the killings have continued unabated. So what could be the reason? Things are not too impressive here. But unfortunately for the criminals and the miscreants, the command here is very proactive and we are always at alive and at alert. So we frustrated their efforts and we will continue to do so. The state governor, Nasser Erufai, in company of heads of security agencies, were in the area to assess the level of destruction and also condole with the victims. I am here to commiserate with you, to sympathize with our communities and join them in prayers that the 40 that were killed and the one policeman that was also killed May their souls rest in perfect peace. Amen. Having assessed the security situation and tendencies of a further breakdown of law and order, the state government imposed a 24-hour curfew on Kajiru and some communities in neighboring Chikung local government. This, according to the state government, is to forestall any form of spillover of the crisis to the state capital and its environs, as we witnessed during the Kasawan Magani crisis in October 2018.